is can you show how to turn off the shadow again? And I'm assuming this could be like when you add a call out, like just an individual, or when you're, I guess, creating a theme, um, how you turn off that shadow again, that little checkbox. Yep. So there's a couple different ways. If you have an image, uh, uh, a call out that's already part of another style here. And if I add this, we'll add a really big version of this. Uh, this particular call has a shadow on it by default. If I don't want it on this particular version of it, I simply deselect the shadow check mark over here in the tool properties. And now that image doesn't have a shadow. If I want that to be permanently part of my quick style, so I don't want to create a whole new theme. I just need this one simple call out. Uh, when you make an adjustment to any of the default callouts, it does get added here to the bottom of your list as an option to add as part of the quick styles. So if I want this orange arrow, which is the same as this one, the only difference is there's no shadow. I can click on the plus button right here on the bottom of that quick styles area. And now I've added that arrow without a shadow as part of the quick style. So there is a shadowed version right here and a non-shadowed version that I've added uh, available to me later on. When you're doing it inside of the themes themselves, we'll edit that, to turn on or off the shadows for the entirety of the theme, there is a checkbox in the upper right-hand corner. So right now for the Snagit 2021 tutorial selection of themes, I have a non-shadowed, but if I turn this on, it adds a shadow to all of them. So it's an all or nothing proposal when you're creating the theme, but it's super simple to add or remove a shadow later on by using the tool properties over here on the right-hand side of the editor. Great tip that adding that plus button there. And when you customize one, I do that a ton, but then yeah. another nice thing is, and then you may have already shown this, but you can add it to your favorites. So uh, checking that little star inside of it mm -hmm. or, or right-clicking it, whatever it might be, adds it yep. to their favorites. So then you don't have to come in and search for it every time you can just click on your favorites in their toolbar and it's going to show up there. So, and, awesome. and Ryan, another level of personalization. So if we've added this non-shadowed version of this call out, I can actually click it and drag it into position up to the top. If it's something I'm going to use on a regular basis, not only did I add it to my favorites menu by right-clicking and choosing, you know, add to favorites, which now has that arrow sitting in my favorites menu, but I also have it at the ready at the top. So if my tool properties menu is up here, I can simply grab that one and add them as many times as I may need.